Hey everyone, today I'll be sharing with you all the tips and tricks you need to know to create those aesthetic Notion templates that you see on TikTok and Instagram. So in less than 7 minutes, we're going to create this template for an absolute beginner. Let's get to it. So right now, I'm just going to create some simple filler, you know, random for the to-do lists so that we can have something to work with later on. So the first tip I'm going to cover is how to create columns in Notion. So this is pretty useful if you want to create an actual layout. And in order to do so, you just have to select a column and drag it appropriately until you see this blue vertical line like so. So at the moment, I'm actually dragging each block individually, but a tip you can do is actually select multiple blocks and drag them all in one go. Next, let's give this header a background color by using forward slash color and then choosing the appropriate background you want. Now let's cover some Notion fundamentals for blocks, which is going to come really handy when you're customizing your templates down the line. One highly underrated Notion feature that I love to use is copying content by dragging and dropping content blocks whilst holding down the option key. So now that we have the Notion fundamentals down, let's head on over to indify.co, which is pretty much where you'll find the most popular widgets that you see around on Notion templates and for good reason. They're easy to apply and pretty nice looking. So have a look around and find a widget that you want to add to your template. For now, I'm just going to add a weather widget, so I'm going to select Create Widget. And as you can see here, we have a lot of customization options that you can choose from. So I'm going to keep things pretty simple because, you know, it looks pretty, pretty good as it is. When you're done customizing and ready to go, you want to copy the link at the bottom of the page and head on over back to Notion where you can paste the link using Command plus V or Control V if you're on Windows and then scroll down to Create Embed. So this will automatically create a widget out of the link that you just made and yeah, we're pretty much done. Very easy and you can drag and drop it as you please, um, create a column like we did so before. You can also resize the widget as needed. If you want to add a Spotify playlist to your Notion template, it's a slightly different process. Um, you're going to have to go into Spotify and find the playlist you want to share. Similar to before, we need to find the embed code and copy this over to the Notion template and then you're done. Things are looking pretty good now, but let's spice things up a bit more with some aesthetic images that you're going to find on Pinterest.com. Your Pinterest feed may look a little bit different from mine because of the personalization algorithm that comes into play here, but all you've got to do is search for something that fits your aesthetic and then you just need to right click and paste the image and over into Notion. So some people actually suggest you need to save the image first, but I found that this step is actually unnecessary and you save a lot of time by simply copy and pasting it over. So now for animated images, we're going to head on over to Giphy.com and this is where they host a bunch of animated images which you can copy on over to Notion and they actually retain their animations, which is pretty cool. You don't want to go overboard here, but having a few subtle animations here and there really spice things up and makes things look really nice. So 
so that is pretty much it for the tutorial side of things. Um, the rest of this video is basically going to be a super fast time lapse of me finishing off the rest of the template to make it look like it was at the start of the video. So if you're interested in that then feel free to stick around. And yeah, um, I do have other videos related to tech and productivity which is what my channel is all about so if you're interested in that then feel free to subscribe and leave a comment about any video ideas you have. Um, also yeah I do hope this video helped you out and let me know if the explanations were on point. So yeah, thanks for all the support and I'll see you in the next video.